Hey folks, this is Vint with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Element TD2. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 10 bucks. I stress Early Access, that means the game is still under development, and as such, everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. So, this is a tower defense game, but apparently it does have a bit of backstory. Apparently, in Dota 2 and Warcraft 3, there was this Element TD game, or mode that you could play. I'm guessing it was a mod. I've never played it. But it introduced a tower defense mode to these games that typically weren't tower defense. Dota 2 is a MOBA, and StarCraft and Warcraft 3 are RTS games. So, uh, to see an, a tower defense mode added to these things is kind of weird to me. But, hey, people really liked it. It was very popular. Well... I believe the same people that made the Element Tower Defense game, or the mod, made a standalone. And that's what we're seeing here today. It's 10 bucks again, Steam's Early Access program. And what makes it stand out from other Tower Defense games is that instead of having just an Archer Tower that you just upgrade, or a Cannon Tower that you upgrade, you've got six different elements. And it's not... Oh, this fire upgrades to a better fire tower, and then that fire tower upgrades to an be even better fire tower. No, no, no. <laughs> You're going to be combining elements in weird ways. Um, there's two modes in this game. There's campaign and there's survival. Survival was the original mode. Um, that was like, survive for as long as you can. And in that mode, here comes wave one. Pick one element to start with. That's what you get. You get to build towers from that element. And then... Once you've passed so many waves, you get one mana point, which you can then unlock a new element. Say, you maybe you chose darkness for your first tower element, and you've been building darkness towers. Then you gain, after so many waves, you can pick another element. Say, oh, I want to pick light this time, or maybe fire, or nature. And there's a rock, paper, scissors to these different elements. And the game does a pretty good job of explaining that because um, everything from left to right on the chart is how it all balances. So for example, light is to the left of dark on the chart and light is good against dark. And then water is right after dark and darkness is good against water. So it goes light, dark, water. Uh, I'm gonna look at the chart because I don't have a photographic memory. Uh, yeah, it's light, dark, water, fire, nature and earth and in that order that is you know the one before it is good against the one after it so there's a rock paper scissors element to this and what's cool is that um when you start unlocking more than one element let's say you take the light and the water elements once you unlock those two trees you can actually start unlocking special towers that sort of utilize the element of both, the elements of both. So you can upgrade a water tower to this special tower that might use both light and water, or maybe fire and nature, or you can upgrade this earth to harness both earth and darkness. And then further from that, there's like, all the way at the bottom of these trees, there's uh, towers that utilize three different elements. They do the most damage, but they're the most expensive. So, again, it's not a linear upgrade system. It's, you build a light tower first, and then you can choose, like, assuming you've got other elements unlocked too, you can upgrade it into, you know, three or four different branches. And then from there, upgrade it again to its highest branch. So, um, I mean, you can directly build, you know, the, the highest tier or the second tier tower. You just hit, I believe it's space bar or tab or something. It brings up the chart. You click on the tower that you want and you can build it instantly. Uh, assuming that you've got enough, uh, I think it's like mana or points to do it. It's money, I think. But anyway, um, so yeah, the survival mode is, you know, survive as long as you can. Um, I think around wave 50 or 55, it enters this Ronald mode, which I don't get. I think Ronald McDonald or something was the boss, and there's a there's a option to toggle it off. It's toggled off by default, um, at least this Ronald skin anyway. 
Um, and you're still surviving for as long as you can, but, um, and then, and once you're dead, once, once the enemies have gotten past you and you've lost so much life, then the game is over and then your profile earns experience points. And as you earn experience points, you, um, level up. Now there's also a campaign mode, um, that was recently introduced. And the way that works is there's two chapters right now. And every time you beat a mission in that chapter, you gain one point, and there's a progression that way. Um, you can respec at any time, and that's important because this mission might introduce light and let's let's say that it introduces fire and uh, water. So you have to then spec the elements for that mission to um, whatever is strong against those elements. So you're for every mission that you're doing, you're constantly respecking, trying to get the most damage that you could possibly can. And during these tower defense missions, um, new portals will open up, and um, you'll be able to sell. Uh, during certain times, you'll be able to sell your towers at a full refund, and, or, and get the full full money back, and then reposition them however you like. So there is some strategy. This is more of a this is more of a puzzly tower defense game than it is. It, it's more of like a quality over quantity kind of thing, where you're constantly thinking, what what element tower do I want to put down? How am I going to upgrade this one? Um, do I should I upgrade this one? If I upgrade it to this, it gives me more damage. But this particular tier two tower um, gives me life back if it manages to kill something or maybe it'll slow monsters down or it does something special that I like but if I upgrade it I lose that special ability but I gain this new ability so it, again it's more of a thinky tower defense game than anything um the downsides to this game right now is that there's barely any content it's just two chapters right now in that survival mode and that gets stale after a while I've, I've played for two hours and I feel like I've gotten my fill I've beaten most of chapter two at this point Multiplayer, there is a dual mode and there's co-op, but unfortunately the, the multiplayer servers are completely bare. Like, there was one person, um, the poor sap was inviting me constantly uh, when I first opened my game. And then I just turned all notifications off. On the main menu, you can turn all that off, all these notifications, and I wasn't bothered anymore. And then when I came back to look later, it was there was no one there. So, multiplayer is, like, non-existent. And... As, as a single-player game, it's not bad, but again, there's not a whole lot of content right now to warrant, you know, if you're going to buy this game, you're going to buy it because you're supporting the developers and you like the idea of the game, and you're a huge fan of the Element TD game from the Dota games and the, and the Warcraft games, uh, that's why you're buying it, not because you're, you're looking for... Uh, a very in-depth and lengthy tower defense game right now because you're not getting that. You're getting a unique, nostalgic tower defense game, and that's why you would buy it right now. My advice to you is if you're like me and you're you're seeing this game for the first time because you haven't played those mods, I would say wait a little bit, let the developers add more content, see what see what direction it goes in, or if you really want to support the developers and you know wait, it, it's up to you. It's it's your money. Um, I'm just saying I'm not going to come back to this for a while until there's more content. Um, because I, I couldn't even test out multiplayer because there was no one to test out multiplayer with. I was more interested in learning the game when I first logged in. So anyway, that's Element TD2. It's, it's cool. Uh, I'll say that. I, I like, I, I like the, the various elements and the rock, paper, scissors and upgrading and all that. But, um, it sort of wears out its welcome because there's not a whole lot of content in the game right now. But I'm hoping to see that change. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.